plain man minimum credentialing, both in uh, safety with OSHA, but also in, in workforce development and uh, in NAPSEP and ICC, and you know, there are other there are other certifications out there. Uh, I think with the NAPSEP um, installer contractor uh, accreditation, I make sure I got that correct. Uh, they have a lot of information on what they require to be accredited in it, and it requires that you have a quality assurance plan amongst many other things, training plans, safety plans, et cetera. That's really the most important thing. So you can you can uh, provide that to your employees and say, hey, this is how we're going to address quality in this company, and uh, here's what we're going to do. The next part is really executing it. Uh, there, there's, there really is a lot of free resources for training. So. Uh, it's not just about getting credentialed. It's also just just having an interest in in, um, in uh, becoming better at your trade. There are really tons of free resources uh, out there. IREC has got um, a, a good uh, um, simulation resource, training resource, and links to several others. Rudy, if you have any any sites you want to mention, I'm trying to. I've also been uh, deferring all the new inspectors to the IREC, uh, at least as a start. Um, NAPSAP's always got good information or, or links to other information on their site it, uh, as well. <clears throat> our reviewers uh, that we do, we have um, all of our inspections, are just as a probably good to mention this, all of our inspections are reviewed by uh, one of really five people. Those five people are perform desktop reviewers and they are other than Rudy, they're full-time trainers. They're, they're, they're folks that, that train NAPSEP uh, certification for a living, and it, it actually works out great because you know you, you do for those 